Hi guys, welcome back. So it has been a month since this was sanded. So I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, but I did find this dresser on the side of the road and it ended up being a real wood, solid wood dresser. And it was originally this color, these knobs, and I sanded it down starting with a rougher grit and going to a finer grit. And that's what the Minwax says that you wanna do first is make sure you sand it. The second thing you wanna do is test your stain. This is actually the first stain that I tried from Home Depot. It is the sun bleached stain, water-based stain. I tested it here in this drawer because this particular drawer had a lot of discoloring in it. As you can see, some of the darker water spots are still visible. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is wallpapering this drawer because I really did not like this stain. The next thing I looked into was finishing wax because I wanted something with a low odor that wasn't toxic so I could do it indoors. And I started by testing this area right here just to see if it changed the color. And I noticed that it really didn't change it much. So I decided to go with this wax. I'm also just using an old t-shirt in circular motion. Okay, now I've got it evenly applied. The instructions say to let it sit for three to five minutes and then buff it off. Okay, I actually found a pair of gloves. If you watch my um, hair coloring video, that's where I got them from. And then to buff it off, it says to use a microfiber cloth, but um, anyway, I'm just gonna use this. This comes in a car waxing kit. And I already tested it and it works fine. Okay, well this stuff is drying up a lot faster than I wanted it to. Okay, we're just gonna have to work fast. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording because this is awful and I gotta like buff this off fast. Cause it's dried. Quick, get everything you've got. So if you're using this to highlight the wood grain, it does say just to wipe it off as I did in the beginning of this video, but I really didn't like the look of that. So at this point, I'm just trying to remove as much of this white cast as possible. So that way I get the look of just a natural wood, which is the look I'm going for. And you may ask, why didn't I just get the clear wax? Why did I get the highlighting wax? And it's because I did want to lighten the look of this wood. And I noticed in some how-tos that a clear wax can darken the wood just a little. So that's why I went with the white wax. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so there it is after the first coat of wax on it. Some obvious things is that I should have moved it away from the wall, and I don't think it needs as thick of a layer. A much thinner layer is easier to buff off, so when I do it again in the future, which it recommends doing it every year, I'm definitely going to put a thinner coat of wax on. Okay guys, these are the final results, and thank you so much for watching. Check down in the description box for where I got this product and see you in the next video. Bye.